Hello, thanks for watching. Do you know why we are so keen on replacing the hardware of the vintage Macintosh? Please take a look at this video chip. Let's introduce the specifications of the iBook G3. On the left hand side of the screen, it is the iBook G3 camshell with 466 MHz CPU, maximum RAM, and has the hard disk being replaced by SSD. It is now booting the Mac OS X 10.4. At the right hand side is the modified iBook with i5 CPU. It has 128 GB flash storage, 4 GB memory, and now is booting the Mac OS X El Capitan. Now the Apple logo just appeared for the vintage Mac, however, the modified Mac has already ready for use. Some of the old Macs are beautiful, however, their hardware couldn't adapt to the modern world. If we want to raise its productivity, it seems that changing hardware is the only way. We started the iBook G3 clamshell modification project last year. Since then, there were newer software and better hardware. For the software, we have Mac OS X El Capitan. And for the hardware, we have an HD LCD screen. Now, the update is ready. First of all, please take a look at the About This Mac section. Now the iBook has the Mac OS X El Capitan installed. As to the screen resolution, let's have a look at the system preferences. And then display. We have changed the LCD screen with the one with resolution 1400 times 1050 pixels. The screen resolution of 13 inches MacBook Air is 440 times 900 pixels. By upgrading the LCD screen to HD LCD, now we have a better resolution compared with the 13 inches MacBook Air. And now I'm going to show you how to modify iBook G3 i5 be so productive. First of all, I'm going to introduce the pin tap function. With the pin tap, user no longer suffered from the tap creep. Adding a pin tap is easy. Just control click the side tab. After that, you will see a pop-up window and you choose pin tab and that's it. Now we are going to add the pin tab for Instagram. Go to the site for the Instagram, control click and pin tab. That's it. And then Twitter. Go to Twitter, control click. Okay, done. At the upper right hand corner of the Safari window, there is a share icon. When you click it, there will be a list of share options. For example, share by email, airdrop, messages, notes, etc. See what happens if you click messages. You can also save it in the notes. After you save it, you can reopen it in the notes application. If you choose AirDrop, you can reopen it in any of your iOS devices. Of course, finally, you can share it with email. Split view is also one of the new features of the Mac OS XL Capitan. I find it very useful, especially when I'm doing research in the internet and write writing block at the same time. Now I'm going to merge the Safari windows with the Photos windows. The HD LCD helps a lot in the speed view because when the resolution is so low, it's meaningless to do so. Just maximize the screen of the two applications and then merge it in the Mission Control. That's it.
For the Mac OS XL Capitan, when you lose your cursor, you just wiggle your finger on the trackpad and the cursor will become larger and appear. Do you remember the SD slot at the right hand side of the iBook G3 i5? After we have taken photos with digital camera, just insert the SD card into the card slot and upload onto the photos. Then we can share wirelessly. For the original iBook G3, the USB drive is USB 1.1, but now we can upgrade it to USB 3. Now all your iOS devices can synchronize with iBook G3 i5 with rapid speed. There is a HD FaceTime camera above the LCD screen for FaceTime conference calls. When there is weak Wi-Fi signal or even no network available, we can still access the internet by the built-in Ethernet port. For this part, we are going to conduct three tests about the modified Mac so as to give you an idea of the performance when represented by data. First of all, we conduct the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. This application is downloadable from the Mac App Store. This is the result of the speed test. Next, we are going to conduct the Internet Speed Test against the iBook G3 i5. Goal is to test its wireless ability. Finally, it is the Greek benchmark test. Application is downloadable at the website and it is to find out the speed of the CPU. In my opinion, there is still enjoyment when you play along with the vintage iBook G3 like what the hobbyists are doing. However, as the iBook G3 is a product of 16 years ago, it may not fit for modern use, which emphasize on high resolution, online synchronizing, wireless sharing, and so on. That's why we are keep updating the vintage hardware. Thank you for your time watching. If you have missed anything in this video, please let us know. Your opinion is always welcomed.